Well, the aardvark is a lot like me. He's big and slow and sort of my spirit animal. But the thing I like about using the aardvark as a metaphor for the way that we invest is that he's a contrarian by nature. He goes out alone and unafraid at night. And he doesn't search for big game hunt and go after those big sexy stocks. Instead, the aardvark is in search of the nutrition he knows he can get, and that's ants. And ants are your dividends that you can get continuously from the stocks you're investing in. Now the aardvark has deep, big claws and he can dig deep for value. He keeps his ears up and looking for the risks that are out there when, you're, when you are a predator at night. But most importantly, the aardvark is slow and steady in its process. And that's the way we invest. I was inspired to write this book because I read so many other books that had an influence on me throughout the years, but never read anything that talked to the way that I approach investments. I think it's important you remember, you don't want to get killed while spending time on the savannah. It's very important to live to fight another day, as we used to say in the Marine Corps, when you're an investor. And in the first section of the book, I talk about all of the manias and mistakes that investors make, from running with the herd and chasing whatever the mutual fund and large financial institutions are selling to you, and also making the mistake of following the herd by running with whatever's hot now is current manias that we see, whether it's in FANG stocks or high momentum growth stocks that people are rushing into without thinking about the valuations of those companies. What I've seen over the years is that really smart people make some tremendous mistakes when managing their portfolio. And I believe that you'll find that the book will help you avoid those mistakes that many investors make. You know, I never thought I had a book in me, but when I started writing it, it just poured out of me and all the things and mistakes I've seen people make. I hope to help you avoid all of these. If you enjoy the book, feel free to buy it on amazon.com or barnesandnoble.com. All the proceeds from the sale of my book go to the Cure Childhood Cancer Foundation. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing the book. <laughs>